I want to show you how to deal with the issues that we run into with a lot of web tool um, apps and or websites that use Flash or Shockwave. Those are synonymous terms um, and really Shockwave shouldn't be used anymore but it still pops up. Let's do this quickly. So here I am, I'm in a website for an application called Blabberize that allows you to put your voice on a picture and have the, the lips move, etc., etc. You don't need to know all that much about it. What you just need to know is, and I'm doing this rather quickly, you just need to know what the issue is. So here we are. It's waiting for me now to record my voice, and I'm going to click on the microphone, and then this pops up. Sometimes it will allow you to do this. Other times it will allow you to do this, and you will get a browser crash where you get a little message that pops up up here at the top of the screen and it says I'm sorry um, shockwave is not working or shockwave is not installed etc etc here's what we have to do and we need to do this proactively so I need to know what is the website I'm going to be using and on my Mac I would go into system preferences look where the little flash player is and click on it we are talking about camera and microphone settings I'm going to click on that and as you can see the only thing on my computer that has flash enabled is blend space so I'm going to go ahead and click here on the plus and I'm now going to type in the address of this website that is using Flash to create something. And once I've done that, I'll say close, and I will say close. And now I probably would have to leave this or re let's let's just okay. It's making me go back and start all over again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if I can find a picture. And so here he is. I'm not going to waste the time getting his mouth right and all that. I want to get to here. So now I can go to here and I can click on the allow. And as you can see, it's now allowing me to do the flash part of this website. And that's all there is to doing this. If I'm using VoiceThread, I would type VoiceThread.com. If I'm using any site that has Flash enabled or Flash embedded in it, I want to have my system understand what it is, and then it will override any settings there that might be in the browser that would get in the way. And the easiest way to do it is go to the site you're going to use, highlight the uh, URL of that site, Go through the steps I showed you about going into System Preferences, find your Flash, click here, add it, and just paste it in. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it on a Mac. Now we'll look at it on a PC.